Okay, hi and welcome. Uh, this video is the first part of a series uh, of videos that I will show how I built the small diorama uh, with airborne uh, troops from Hobby Fan in 135 scale. So I have opened the box and I have found uh, two nice figures. Uh, I must say that uh, the figures are looking very nice, well done. Well, I'm I'm not an expert, but I have I have built and seen a lot of figures, so I'm very pleased with the quality of, of uh, this one. Uh, and this one is is also looking nice as the first. So you see I, I have put the water can and the equipment, I have already glued it together. The guns um, looks also very nice. Uh, this gun, the barrel was a little bent when I got it, but I have uh, tried to, to make it uh, as straight as possible. And I think it's okay now. And the other one, also very nice. And the helmets looking very, very good. Okay, uh, but I will uh, show you something how, uh, how I think about uh, making the diorama. Okay, so what I had to work with was this, but I think uh, this one is a little bit too too small. Therefore, I um, uh, had this one, a, a piece of, of flat stone, and I thought that, okay, something like this. Um, it's a, a small corner, so this guy, he can look around the corner, and the other guy is running forward. I said, okay, maybe this is something. And then I have the, the sandbags to, to build up uh, here. Yeah, you know how it looks like. But then I, I thought, hey, uh, don't I have anything in, in, my, in my stock? And then I realized that I have this little piece that uh, is a leftover from uh, another project so I think maybe I will do <clears throat> I will still use this plate I think uh, so I can take this I will cut it here and here uh, when I saw this kit from hobby fan I immediately uh, wanted to build it because it uh, almost uh, a part of another diorama that I built in 172 scale. So I must show you that one before we, we uh, go th further on. So this little piece I built uh, five, five years ago. I started with it. It's uh, the third or fourth diorama I, I, I ever built. Uh, it's still not finished. I, I still have uh, uh, the second gun position here to, to make. I have the camouflage net, but that's not uh, ready yet. So, uh, yeah, I think you understand which uh, uh, scene it is. It's the Bricourt Manor Assault. Uh, known uh, from a band of brothers. Uh, there are some Germans still fighting and running away from uh, uh, the airborne troops that has started to blow up the guns. You see over there, that one is blown up. Uh, and I, w I made the, the sandbags out of uh, clay uh, that I I think it's very funny to build them and they look quite nice. 
And you see here the, the trenches. So this part is uh, yeah this this part as you see in the on the box art it's uh, for me I felt immediately that hey that's uh, part of my my small diorama I built years ago so okay let's see how how we do this uh, I. I already took this small part away to, to test. Uh, we can uh, put it there. So then we have to cut away something like this. Okay, so now I will glue this part together with a, with a stone base and I will try to use this glue that I uh, bought from Dio Dump, clear glue for plaster and blue styrofoam. I uh, have never tried it before, so I hope it will work. Yeah. fit it in place like that so uh, for the groundwork uh, we will use today I have some modeling paste uh, normally I use uh, regular carpenter filler but uh, yeah I have this I opened this one so I have to use it and I have uh, soil that I picked up in the woods. So, uh, okay, let's uh, try to build up some kind of um, ground here. So let's see how, how this went. We shake off the, the soil that's still loose and we find a quite nice area to, to work with. Um, don't worry about small things here. Because... Okay, let's glue this together. To, to get this little tr tree to uh, to get the uh, fixture right, I have put a toothpick here, to, uh, so it will be a little more steady. So what, what I do to make it a little better already now is that I have put more glue in this area where there were some holes and so on. 
and then we will put some more on this on this lovely um, soil in there this is really magic to use because uh, you cover everything and it's natural stuff so it's it looks looks real from the beginning and if you put some more some leaves and uh, bushes and grass on this it will be look looking fine So now I, ha now I have uh, covered all the glue with uh, more of this magic soil. Uh, and I think now it's look a little bit more like a, a real diorama. So we will let this dry uh, until tomorrow. There is nothing wrong with the base plate that is included with the figures but uh, I think uh, this one that I am building is a little bit more interesting and it's easier to, to, to build up it as you want. So until uh, next time, bye bye.